Hi, Kevin Cloak from uh, Wattmaster talking about how to terminate a anaconda fitting onto anaconda flexible metal conduit. Where would you use anaconda flexible metal conduit? Anywhere where you need ultimate mechanical protection for your cables. Typically it's installed in a length this long at the end of a piece of conduit, steel conduit run or sometimes it's used longer dropping off a cable tray into a mechanically dangerous environment. It's a very simple product to terminate and um, the key piece of terminating anaconda is to do a clean cut when you cut the anaconda. And the best way to do a clean cut is with a 32 tooth per inch quality hacksaw blade. And um, once you do that clean cut, the rest of the job's easy. So, you take the anaconda fitting. It has a gland nut, a sealing ring, and a grounding cone or ferrule. You would uh, screw this fitting in this case we're using a 90 degree fitting but they're available in 45 and the most common used is straight. So you would screw this fitting into a threaded box or alternatively use a lock nut and put it into a 25mm hole. We're using a 25mm fitting and 25mm anaconda. So screw this into your fitting, box, motor, push button station, switchboard, whatever, control panel, whatever you need to terminate your cable to put this in, whether it's threaded, uses a lock nut, they're your choices. You'll have your um, cable coming up. Now you can either put the ground cone on before or after. And by the way, a ground cone, once it's terminated, if you don't want to terminate the end of an anaconda in an outside environment, if you say coming off a cable tray and dropping down and then terminating to the motor, this is a nice way to give you, just use a ground cone gives you a nice um, safe edge where you won't cut yourself or damage the cables as you're pulling them through. You can just use a ground cane on its own in some situations where you're not looking for weatherproof protection or um, uh, terminating if you just want to sit it there to come off, for, for example, to come off a cable tray. So we take the ground cane. Before taking the ground cane, we take the back nut, ceiling ring, place over the anaconda, then attach the ground cone. You just screw it in till it will go no further. That gives you the nice smooth finish again. Um, and then you run your cable. Now I'm using a piece of orange circular, but you could well have in here three pieces of building wire. You could have control cables. You could have uh, whatever you need to do your electrical installation, as long as you conform to the amount of space in, um, and in Australia, that's with the um, Australian wiring rules. So um, as long as you leave enough space there for dissipation of heat, etc., as is specified by the rules, you can pretty much do in this conduit whatever you can imagine. So this is the fitting is terminated in a in the enclosure or motor or whatever. You bring your cable through. Just. A little. So you bring your cable through, allowing enough tail for you to terminate whatever device you have. So I'd say that'd be enough if you're just going to a terminal box in the bottom of a junction box. And then you bring your ground cone into the fitting, have your ceiling ring there, doing up your back nut, which to maintain your weatherproof um, connection you must finish off with a tool into your box. So that's how simple it is to terminate a piece of anaconda and um, this is available from a quality electrical wholesaler near you. Thanks for watching our demonstration today. For further details you can visit our website at whatmaster.com.au where we have quite a lot of um, cable terminating products and the tools required to terminate them.